Hey, it's Thomas Mulready, and I first met James Levin in 1987. He came backstage at Baldwin Wallace College at a performance art piece I was doing, and he had just recently come back from New York working with La Mama Experimental Theater, and he was intrigued, so he said, come on over to West 65th in Detroit. So I get over there, and I'm like, what are we doing here? You know, the theater district's downtown, and he was like... Just wait, you know? So before I knew it, he talked me into doing a performance art festival. And, you know, that's how he operates, you know? He's an attorney. He can pull the permits. He can talk to the city. He gets things done. He inspires people around him. You know who built Cleveland Public Theater? Criminals. (laughs) James was an attorney, and he would work with clients who were down on their luck and could no way afford to pay him, so he would tell him to come in at night, he'd get a couple of cases of beer, and the next day we'd be like, where did these seats come from, you know? And he'd be like, that's the brew crew. (laughs) You know, we used every inch of that space, and James's vision just continued to grow, took over what's now the James Levin Theater, but then the Gordon Square Theater, the church, the parish hall, but that wasn't the end of it. In 2005... James and I decided this town needed a world-class festival, so we booked a flight to Charleston, South Carolina, to check out the Spoleto Festival that had transformed Charleston. And we did. We checked it out, and we said, there's nothing they're doing here that we can't do in Cleveland. So that first year, Labor Day weekend, I think we had about 70,000 people come downtown And you know what? It was James Levin who convinced the city and the powers to be to open up 4th Street to pedestrians. That's why it's such a great place today. Then Playhouse Square. Then under the Detroit Superior Bridge. Then on the lakefront. You know, then James turned his attention to Worcester and started teaching entrepreneurialism to a whole new generation. And then he moved on to the Cultural Gardens with the Cleveland One World Fest and a whole series of festivals there where he not only celebrated ethnic culture, but brought tens of thousands of people to places that they had only driven by. Um, After that, the city of Lorraine called him and said, can you come out here and do something along Broadway that you did in downtown Cleveland? And of course, then we saw the Firefish Festival. So My mentor, my hero, my partner, James Levin, has now transformed at least a half a dozen neighborhoods in our region. He's encouraged thousands of artists, and he's just generally made this a great place to live. James, I'm proud to call you my friend.